Hello, um, welcome or welcome back to Learn to Live Life on a Budget. My name is Millie. How are you doing, guys? How's the start of September been for you? Uh, the start of September for us has been shaky. Um, it's been an emotional week, so it has affected spending. Warning now, if you like things that go to plan in a budget, then don't watch this video. <laughs> You might not want to watch my channel. It always goes, I always end up overspending. I'll have a good few weeks and then the overspends will come in. And yeah, it has been emotional spending this week. But before I start, I want to show you something that I did buy because it might help others. So I bought, I was looking for a smaller purse. I have been for ages. I'd really like to get an A7 binder um, with cash wallets, which is what I'm thinking about doing in the future. Um, I just can't decide which one I want. And so I use, uh, the Filofax Safiano, uh, for my cash envelopes, uh, my weekly ones. Obviously that's quite expensive. And the reason why I wanted to share this little purse is because it was under three pound. And when I open it up, So technically this is a card purse and you put your cards in it, but um, I actually started using it to store cash in for different sections. Now I don't think it's the most durable thing, but if you are starting out on cash stuffing, this purse was on Sheen. It was under £3, I think it was like 2 25 but don't quote me on that. Um, because I did a big order and I used vouchers and my daily points. So if you have the Sheen app, you can check in every day for daily points. Um, and yeah, for I'm going to say it's two twenty five, but I'll just let's just be safe and say three quid or just under. And then postage. It's really good, and you can fold up your notes and put in there. I'll get one to show you. I've taken it out, and it was really nice to use. And I think I'm going to put little labels in it because I um, I, I love my purses and my handbags you see so i don't always want my big one so this is a five pound note you can just fold it in half and that's got money in it so we'll just go with an empty one fold it in half and have it poking out or you could fold it twice over and then put it in so it's hidden um yeah i just and yeah it doesn't fall out the bottom it's actually it's actual pockets because when it came i thought oh because I thought it was um, not sealed at the bottom. Can you see that it's a hole there? But it's just the outside one. These are sealed. So there's quite a lot of space. Um, I've been doing it so that there's space between cash. So it's not everyone filled with cash. But yeah, I just wanted to share this. Because um, I've been using it and it's been really, um, really cute, really handy. Um, and it's just so much smaller and lighter. Because sometimes... Like, sometimes this is perfect because I just literally, like, I'll just go to Audi and then I'll just shove this in. I don't know, it, did it fit in my back pocket, my jeans? I wear a lot of hoodies, so I'll just shove it in my hoodie pocket. Um, and I don't need a whole bag, you know, all I need is phone, keys and purse. And that's why I still would like to get a wrist strap for Safiano. Um simple budgets had a wrist strap for it um and um oh there was someone else it was like in the summertime people were getting wrist straps um because then you could just use it as like a bag um but i just i also like something smaller especially if uh we had a big shopping day and it would have been nicer to have a smaller purse <laughs> but yeah this will still be my main envelope it'll get cashed after for a week and then i will just transfer what i want to into this one um as and when so this week has been a bit there so shall we just a uh, check in <laughs> check in already um it's just been an emotional week i'm gonna take my jumper off so i'm really sorry if it causes a disruption i'll try to continue talking um i'm just hot 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 yeah it's just been a really emotional week there's been stuff in my personal life there's been stuff mental health wise and like not like in a bad way but like dealing with and doctor's appointments and different people like professionals um so you tell one one thing and then you've got to repeat it to everyone else because although they upload everything onto the computer system that is my file <laughs> no one seems to read it um, my GP does 
actually but he likes me to confirm it to him um so yeah and just stuff at home um with people i love going through tough times and i just really feel for them and it's just made it an, an emotional week emotional spendy week so hopefully you can read this okay um saturday so i actually cash stuff on the friday i normally cash stuff the day before or very early in the morning like if i knew that friday i didn't want to go out but i wanted to do the shopping the food shopping and that um on the saturday morning and i wanted to, i knew it'd be a shopping day i had to think then i was like why am i talking about friday i've gone shopping on the saturday i knew we'd be up and out early so i actually film on the friday i filmed the day before so like right now i'm filming on the thursday and i've said it's gonna be a nice spin day and that is what it will be <laughs> millie listen to yourself and do as you're told um yeah so um i we had this big big day shopping and out looking at everything <laughs> literally everything we saw the really cutest christmas decorations in b m's love them um yeah, uh, I love Halloween. I like Halloween. I love Christmas and I love Christmas decorations. I think Christmas lights, like driving around in the dark and seeing people's Christmas lights on in their windows and stuff, you know, like the Christmas displays, is like, that is pure magic to me. <laughs> it always has been. I didn't always drive. Um, I learned to drive, how old am I now? um i learned to drive when i was about like 24 25 but i had my daughter at 16 so i used to like do school runs she used to go to after school club um because i'd be at uni or at work and we'd be walking home and we used to live like we didn't always live as central as we do now we used to live like a mile and a half from anything but the buses were ridiculous and we'd be walking home in the dark and the rain and they'd be like horrible and you'd be freezing but there'd be christmas lights and i've always been like that even as a child um so yeah just we've been up the range and walked through there our range hopefully all ranges do it because it's lovely do like a tunnel area with all the lights and musical decorations and some people's idea of hell if i'm having a migraine then it's my idea of hell but yeah so um we had like a really nice day out um, shopping and our both our feet really hurt by the end of the day. And we were both like, no. And how I managed to come home and still cook dinner, I don't know. I had to, my daughter actually came home and went for a nap. <laughs> and I sat and watched some telly because I was just like, I can't stand and cook right now. I need an hour. I need an hour just to chill. Um, But um, we did go Christmas shopping. So i there's a lot of spending here i'll try and break it down so i basically i need some new jumpers um i used to work with um ch children with um special educational needs and additional needs and uh very challenging behavior and a lot of my thick jumpers so i've got hoodies but i also like knitted jumpers woolly jumpers um and a lot of them ripped easily in that line of work and I hadn't really replaced them because last year I wasn't at work last winter but it was a very dodgy place for me and I don't think I spent if I wasn't in pajamas I was in a hoodie and leggings so <laughs> um basically yeah <laughs> I, I just wanted some like clothes like clothes to um yeah um so i've been looking all around and i really shopped around and i eventually bought some matalan i spent 23 pound 50 on i needed a couple of i always wear vest tops with everything um i think it's just a force of habit now um so i've got a couple more white vest tops because the white vest tops i had just gone like they were old so they were discoloring and I got myself a really nice jumper that I wanted. Um, I'd been looking everywhere for about two weeks. I'd been looking and sort of like not buying anything and having online baskets with lots of places and not checking out. I then spent five seventy five dollars in Asda. I got leggings and we got um, a snack for 75p. It was literally a snack bag of nuts. Um, 
and yeah uh we spent 47 16 in audi on groceries so groceries is now food and cats cats has become groceries because i was giving cats 10 pound a week and they were coming up to you know 11 pound a week 12 pound a week um so i've just thrown it all in one because i'm getting the cats stuff mainly when i go grocery shopping like when I go and do my weekly food shop, I get the cat's food then. Um, so it's I'm taking money out of two envelopes to pay for one thing. I don't do two checkouts because I know I need the grocery money to top it up. And the cat stuff is heavy. You know, I have three cats. You know, I'm buying, you know, at least two bags of cat litter a week. I'm buying multiple. I buy tins as well. I don't buy sachets. It's heavy. So you just throw it in. It's at the beginning every time. It's the first thing on my... Um, you know at the till like on the moving thing that <laughs> you put all your food on it's always the cat stuff on there first but anyway so yeah i've combined it and i spent 47 pounds 16 i spent one pound 19 in audi on oh we bought um so like i was at checkout and then my daughter was like hungry so she went and got cake and i just gave it so uh, spending money to her because she wasn't there was people behind us and she wasn't sure she'd be back in time because they throw it at you so fast. <laughs> so £1.19, I think it was Chelsea Buns. We spent, or well, I spent £3 in Poundland. What did I buy in Poundland? I got my daughter a body spray. Oh, what else did I get? I think I got some concealer as well for a pound. Liquid one, just sort of try, you know see if it's any good because i don't wear a lot of makeup but i would like to and my daughter's the same so we're both trying out the cheaper brands to practice our technique on um so if you have any recommendations for makeup brands that you know isn't gonna cost us the earth I, then uh let us know uh one pound in b&m i'm not gonna be able to remember all of those and £7.82 in Home Bargains. I know in Home Bargains I got a binder. Um, this one for future. This is going to be my month ahead folder. I've decided to separate it. Um, just because I feel like I'm not going to stuff it otherwise. Um, but um, yeah. I'm not sure. What did I? I can't remember what I spent in these two. Oh, B&M's was popcorn. <laughs> Because me and my daughter were watching Jeffrey Dahmer, so we got popcorn for later on on Saturday night. Um, because we were like, right, we'll go home and when we once we've had dinner, we'll like watch like most of it. Um, and then I spent forty three pound forty six on Christmas presents. I have a notebook to help me track for Christmas. Um, I have to be careful because I've got people's names in here, but uh, I've basically got spending. Um. I'll just cover the presents bit um and so there's like my budget and i've got tick list and people's names and how much i spend on them and then try and find one that's not so look that's a, a 10 pound unbudgeted present spend like in case there's anyone i've forgotten about decorations food spend like i can just write each time i buy I might pick up some bits food wise like the guy in the freezer on my weekly shop um yeah just kind of try and keep track and hopefully I've allocated enough of the budget like because I know last year for Christmas I had a budget and I cash stuffed for it and then I just kind of went a bit crazy the last week of December and Amazon Prime loved me <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of like spent like two, three hundred quid like just before Christmas on Prime, um, which really wasn't needed. So uh, I'm just writing it all down separate this year to keep track of it. Budget with Kerry said about she writes it down in a book. I think she said that she writes down so she buys multiple people at a time and uh, budgets, bargains and bullshit. She does one person at a time, crosses them off one person at a time, crosses them off. Um, so yeah, we're just starting the Christmas shopping now because it will play on my mind and I'll get anxious. And the closer it gets to Christmas, the busier the shops get. So, and my daughter wanted to get bits for some of her friends on this day, so she came. And then I'll do the other bits of Christmas shopping as and when and possibly while she's at school. Then I spent £55 on electric top up, top up on my key meter. Uh, Sunday was a no spend. Um this over like this 
Uh, I had change given to me by my friend because I bought her a drink in Londis uh, and I paid for it on my card. I bought us both a drink and she gave me money back, but I don't know if that's the right amount. So <laughs> we said we got an income here uh, for like one pound sixty. It was like it was over one pound fifty, but it was under two pound. That's all I know. <laughs> She didn't give me like a one pound and a fifty p, and she didn't give me a two pound coin or two pound coins or whatever. There was like a twenty p in there and a ten p, and there might have been a five p. Who knows? Um, uh, but we went. Me and my friend went to McDonald's like on the spare of the moment. Um, little shopping trip <laughs> to McDonald's and Aldi. Um, and I don't even think that's correct. I had a big tasty. I don't know how much it cost. She paid on her card, so then I'm like trying to chuck change at her. So I put five sixty. I might have given 660. I don't know. Um, I think I might have given 660, yes. But I have got an amount, I think it's £1.90, you'll see on the next page, that is unaccounted for. And that's from these here that it's unaccounted for. Because she gave me money, I gave her money. All confusing. I spent £2.88 in Audi on groceries, um, picking up a couple of extra bits. Um, £22.66 on Just Eat. That's from another day. I don't even, that's not even October's, that's like from September, I think, um, with the eating out, overeating, <laughs> overeating, the eating out, spending too much stuff, and it's, it's going to be a really eating out month, because it's my birthday, and people have piped up over the last week, and I've even had like, uh, like food with people, but because things are tight, they want to do like food with me, but they don't want to pay for me and my daughter. <laughs> So I'm paying towards it and that's fine and I just kind of accepted that that's the way it is. Like I don't know if I would say to someone let's go out for food uh, for your birthday and then be like can you pay for it. But if they paid for their half I would be very relieved so I'm happy to. So like Tuesday is meant to be a no, is a no spend day that's because... I paid for the Domino's on PayPal and then yeah we did two orders because it just worked out better well definitely for me because I hit a deal and they didn't get the tip they got something else like I don't even know they dealt with it all but uh yeah back to Monday so that just eat was like an old one I basically PayPal a lot of things at the moment um because they'll take it from my bank a few days later. So it gives me a chance to... It's basically whenever I overspend. <laughs> um, yes, and then my TV licence and car tax came out as normal. Tuesday was a no spend because no money left me. But it has left me. Uh, but it will come out at a later date. So I'll track it then. Um, Wednesday I bought £30 back into my budget from the gas sinking fund. I'll go over that in a second. Uh, I gave my daughter £2 extra pocket money. She goes to like her club and I give her change out of my binders as extra pocket money because they can they can go to this like hangout place but they can also leave and there's a Starbucks nearby and she collects the change and saves it. So every week, if she doesn't, she didn't spend that £2 this week but she'll have saved it. So next week when I give her a couple of quid, she'll have like nearly a five or whatever. Uh, I spent £2 in B&M. <laughs> on chocolate and um they i didn't go to b&m for chocolate i went to b&m to buy home bits <laughs> but um i picked up chocolate while i was there so it came out of spending and they were having a competition to see who could sell the most crumpets so i bought some crumpets <laughs> i was so easily like oh i'll just give you money it's fine i don't even know what the cashier wins um I went to Audi and I spent £16 on home stuff. So it's something I've been wanting to do for ages. I want to get rid of... I have a massive four-door wardrobe and it is falling apart. I've had it for nearly 10 years. Um, and it's cheap MDF rubbish, whatever. I'm surprised it's lasted this long. And so I just went and got a clothes rail um, because I can take it apart. And I'm going to paint my bedroom this weekend and rope in people who want to come see me for my birthday you want to come see me you want to get a takeaway but want me to pay towards it then you can help me paint um <laughs> i'm gonna be really cheeky and i've already got the paint um my bedroom's like um the one room that never gets decorated um 
it's, it's how it is, isn't it? Like, my daughter's room's been painted about four times, maybe five times in the near ten and a half years we've lived here. Um, but mine's been done once, and it just, all the paint's chipped, and just, oh, it's rubbish. So, um, I want to get, um, I think it'd be nice to do that. Like, I've got some magnolia, so it's, um, like grey and dusty pink at the moment but it just yeah the grey's got like all marks on it and chips on the paint so you see white coming through so I thought just paint it magnolia cover it and then at a later date I can paint it a colour that I want use what I've got I was gifted that magnolia so uh, I got the rail because I'm going to take my wardrobe apart in the decorating process um so We'll do the sheen and the Christmas. So the sinking fund, sheen, clothes and Christmas. That's Christmas was from sheen. So uh, the sheen order, I had this big sheen basket because I needed, like I said, jumpers. And there was a bag I wanted and some trainers. I need new trainers. My trainers are literally, people look at me and look down at my feet and they look slightly disgusted because you know the rim around the trainer. It's like come away almost. <laughs> almost completely on one side they're so comfy those trainers i love them but um apparently the what there's ones in prime archives iron up and sheen do them for a cheaper price and i thought well i'll try a sheen as i'm doing the order and also if where i bought them it qualified me for like massive i saved 19 pounds something it gave me a voucher if i spent was it 75 or 80 pound um so I basically saved money, but got them for free. <laughs> but um, the way Sheen does it with vouchers is it knocks off an amount off every item. So in the end, my daughter's bits for Christmas that she wanted from there came to £32. And um, <clears throat> clothing bits for both of us um, came to £34.61. Now the £30 I brought back into my budget um was something that i didn't want to do um but basically um i live in housing association it's like government owned almost it's like an organization that works with the government to bring low cost and secure housing if you're not from the uk <laughs> um but um so basically as long as i pay my rent and I'm a good girl and don't cause problems then I am responsible for all the flooring all the decoration everything um and I have this fireplace that's on the wall that I put in it's just a, a wood one it's not an electrical fire or anything it's just a wood frame fireplace and um, I had it on another wall I've had it for years I picked it up for a tenner um it's actually really pretty I picked it up second hand um and my stepdad put it in he had to cut into the skirting boards now i want to be i wanted to move it i moved it it's been moved for a while but i finished moving the living room around yesterday and my eldest cat fraser who if you watched my last weekly check-in would have seen him um wanting to be very much on the video <laughs> my big black cat he is old and ditzy and forgetful and he's jittery and not the greatest at jumping and stuff and this fireplace is stood against the wall but if a cat jumps on it it wobbles and it can fall and i was terrified because he kept trying to go on it yesterday and he missed and then knocked it and it wobbled and i thought oh my god it's going to land on him um so basically, um, I went and borrowed a type of saw off a friend to cut into my skirting board that's on the wall, just so it can slot back and then it can be screwed into the wall and the fireplace. But it didn't. It the it doesn't the way it's built. It doesn't. It, it gets flush with the wall, but not with the skirting or like the angle you want to cut it. So I basically took the thirty pound out of my gas sinking fund because I'm now going to pay my gas bill. Um, rather than monthly direct debit with cash um, they I have £250 in credit <laughs> and the next bill is the middle of October um, so I'm thinking I've I've paid for October's because we have had the heating on maybe once or twice but not a lot yet um, and so we have a combi boiler we just heat up the water as we need it 
Um, so I just took the 30 quid out of that. I knew that Audi had a multi-tool and I've been told that multi-tool should make the cut and then I could also use it to sand things. And I've got other DIY jobs. I didn't want to buy a multi-tool. So the fireplace thing has been like going on for a month and it's just been getting fraser has been getting more interested in it. I've kept blocking it off with different things and then Bobby would go and knock it and... I just needed the peace of mind and I wanted the job done. I don't want to, I want my living room back. I don't want to have to have furniture placed to prop this up so a cat doesn't knock it over. So I spent £29 and 2p in Audi. Um, the multi tool was 25 and um, what else? Did I, do? Oh, I got some cake. <laughs> cake week um and like some hula hoops um so yeah so i bought that back in it was just felt like it was much better spent that way uh for the peace of mind and then thursday was a nice spend so i have been rabbiting on for ages so i'm going to fly through this sheet oh my gosh i've still got challenges to do i'm really sorry so i started with a rollover of 704 pound and 5p i received child benefit 20 pound from the sinking fund um week five because it's a five week month uh pound sixty. i'm going to say with a, from a friend and 153 pound bought in from other sinking funds gave me 945 pound uh for this week uh tv license car tax uh were as predicted electric was 55 i spent 75 pound 46 in total on christmas sinking fund uh on christmas presents from the christmas sinking fund i transferred 30 pound from the christmas sinking fund to my daughter because that's for my presents uh, I've given her 30 quid to spend on me. I think she's already spent like half of it um, when we was out because she kept disappearing. Um, uh, clothes sinking fund 34.61, home sinking fund 16 pound and pocket money 2 pound, meaning I spent 240 pound and 87 on technically bills, but also bills and sinking funds. Groceries this week was combined it's combined with cats now so i had budgeted to spend 60 pound i spent 50 pound on 4p spending i had 17 pounds stuffed but i ended up spending 81 pound 16 i didn't spend anything from travel or RO. they went towards spending i had 22 pound 66 spent on an eat out uh, on a takeaway and then unaccounted for was one pound 90 i've stuck it here because i'm pretty sure it was to do with my spending faux pas on monday like how much did my friend give me how much did i spend on how much did I give her? Um, uh, so that meant instead of spending £115 on envelopes, I spent £155.76. Sinking funds I stuffed with my cash stuffing last week. I stuffed £30 into Christmas, which I've spent. Uh, £10 into car, £30 into gas, which I've taken out and brought back into the budget and respent. <laughs> Um, and £30 into water, meaning I put £100 into sinking funds, leaving me £403. Uh, I'm going to have £4.82 to put into challenges, £8 into the roll of the dice, uh, £5 I put into emergency fund, leaving me £17.82 um, in savings this week, and then leaving me with a rollover of £386 into next week. So, shall we quickly do my weekly savings challenges? So I have money in here. So I actually think I have £4.82 in total left in cash. But uh, if you've watched my videos before, you've seen that I collect the stamps from Tesco for my Christmas savings work. And I would like to buy some. <laughs> so I'm going to um, keep some money. This uh, I was changed from Christmas. So I just rounded it up and kept the change. Because there's no point putting this back into my Christmas sinking fund. Envelope. And I think I took a tenner out of it for spending money anyway. Um, and that 50p needs to be in the bank. So we're not going to take that out. <clears throat> So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty, seven fifty. 
I <laughs> this is two twenties and a ten. And nine, because there's another ten and two twenty P's. Let's say nine pound. Maybe I've done this bit wrong as well. Nine pound ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, oh, 9 pound 24, 29, oh my gosh, 30, 30, 9 pound 32, I'm going to cross that off because I think I've done that wrong, 9 pound 32, or I've counted it wrong, let's just bring that notebook over here, so I'm going to write down what I stuff, so I want to put four pound into uh, groceries to spend in Tesco so I'll make a special effort I'll go once I've been food shopping to go to Tesco's to get some more of these stamps so four pound takes me into this bracket and then if I have pound coins left over from this week that'll be good um so four pound uh, two Tesco stamps and then that leaves me one pound for so guys if you um don't like colouring this is just gonna be colouring now isn't it although you'll see the amounts um but hopefully I won't be too long uh one pound going in there's not a one pound higher is there no so I'm not going to do that with the stamps every week, but I just wanted to, I thought I was going and I was really pleased because I had lots of change in groceries. Um, but then we didn't go um, because uh, the ones nearest to me have to walk to. And there's some out of town, but we just never ended up getting there. My daughter said about going. <laughs> And I was like, can you give me some stamps? But she didn't even go in the end. So there's a lot of pound coins in here, which is quite nice and handy. Sorry, that was so loud. Um, now, challenges. Oh, it's up here. I'm like looking in my um, container. And it was next to me. So next we're going to do... The 50p challenge we have a lot this way one two three four five i'm really happy about that so that's one two three four five would we say we're nearly halfway there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven after this row when we're on the next row we're halfway to completing this challenge it's been really good because now I'm more conscious of my change. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I don't know where that came from. That cough. Um, uh, with all these different challenges, I feel more like aware of what change I've got and um, wanting to hang on to it. I guess. Uh, look at this envelope. I've destroyed the envelope with my pen. Uh, so I rounded up didn't I all of it so this week I've got 20 40 60 80 oh look 80 is free on there so I'm gonna colour it in but I'm gonna I was gonna say throw it to the side not throw it place it out of camera so these are good I think at some point in the next month maybe I'm gonna have an add up and see if I can hit off some of the bigger numbers um Oh, pounds potential K, she did it uh, with her envelope challenge and it just made it look like it was a lot easier rather than trying to get big numbers each week. It's easy to get smaller ones, isn't it? Um, I forgot how many 50p's I've put in, but I put 80p into 20p's. I'm going to put 20p into 10 peas but yeah i've got some 
So I have 50p, 60p, 70p. Oh, we can cross off 70p. So I'm going to put 20p in, but I had 50p that wasn't coloured in for because I'd already coloured them in. So you can do 70p now. Try and wipe off the 50p so I don't get confused next week. And then... Colour it in. We have loads of two P's this week. I've just got pen all up my finger as well. Look, wiping that. Can't take me anywhere. Um. So, I think with this as well, I might have to have a rejig and put all of this into like one square. Be nice if I could hit that three. We'll keep going for another week or two, like the 20p. But yeah, it's making me, I'll be like, oh, I've got loads of 50ps there. I want to keep them. Or like when I'm buying, going to buy something, I won't want to buy it because I want to keep hold of it. Um, so 2ps, normally I would keep them for the arcades, but I don't know when we're going next. And I just wonder if it'd be better off in here. What about here? 15, 16... Well, we can do 16p. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Oh, I'll just keep that separate. So that's going to go with my 2p pop for the arcade. My 2p, 16p. And then, oh, they're both 16p. I just realised that. 16p into the 1p and the 5p. So I literally just write what I'm putting into each challenge each week because I just do it as one set amount but um it's just nice isn't it to you know one week I could put loads into this one and not the others and like this week I had 80p and 20p's and I had a load of 2p's as well you know because I might look at the total amount I put into challenges and think oh wow so even this one is, I thought this one would be quicker to do, to be honest. Maybe if the two P's were in there, it would be. But yeah, this is just one piece and five P's. It's like an envelope challenge, but in a gel. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's it for t this video. Uh, I was going to say today, but I'm going to film my cash stuffing now. And it's going to be much quicker than this. So if you want to watch it, please come join. Um yeah i hope you're all doing well um if you're overspending don't beat yourself up about it but draw a line under it that's all i'm gonna say i'm just gonna give myself the next week and hope that i'm not too naughty because i get paid next week as well so you know when i get paid i tend to try and draw a line under that um because i think i'm gonna have to use i'm not gonna have as much sinking fund money because i'm gonna have to fund my week three with the pay that i was not meant to be doing that right so i hope you all have a good week and i'll hopefully see you soon thanks for watching bye